What's up guys, this is Obronco with the 12th day of 23 days of summer, and this map is called Apocalypse Act 1, and this map is a city map as you can see, and it, the theme of it is kind of a, like a rundown city I guess, it's been run over by an apocalypse of something, um, but this map is made by, hi I'm Caps Lock, and the thing that I really really like <clears throat> about this map is the falling crates. Um, the crates are timed, so when you drive past that area, the crates will fall as if like a building was actually being demolished at that time. And I thought that was really, really cool. I thought that was a really creative and unique idea. And, you know, I, I just thought it added a great aspect to the map, I guess you could say. And, you know, I haven't really seen that a lot of other maps. The only time I've ever really seen falling crates is either in a trap or in a, um... I guess in a starting gate you could say. So I thought he did a great job with the, I guess, originality of this map. I mean, because there's, there's been other maps that have been kind of like torn down, like city maps that have been like hit by a nuke or nuke or like a natural disaster, like an earthquake. Um, sort of like Japan, not to be mean to any Japanese people. Um, but that's what this reminded me of, because uh, I think this map was made around that time. Um, not exactly like made after it, but you know, just around that time, so I thought that was, you know, it kind of reminded me of that, and I thought that was really cool how he, you know, just gave it all this, the aesthetic value. And another part I like about it is the effect, I think it, the, um, colorblind effect, I think it goes well with just kind of the eeriness, I guess, in the map, and he didn't, like, create the map to be scary, I'm just saying, like, I don't know, just the overall effect of the map, it, it just goes well together, and I think that he did a really good job with this, and another thing that I like about it is the checkpoint layouts. I mean, there are a few checkpoints that are really sharp that you have to turn to get to, and you can't really see them that far ahead. I mean, but overall, all the checkpoints are laid out really nice. There's just a couple that you have to drive through a building to get to that were, you know, like this one over here. This is a pretty sharp turn you have to get through. Um, but overall, the checkpoint layout's really nice because I know in a lot of other city maps, the checkpoints are just really random, and it's... It, um, it's really hard to find your way. He does a great job on this map just really laying it out very nicely. So it all works very nicely. And, you know, great map overall. And this map was entered in Layback Gaming's top 10, but it did not get in the video, and he was disappointed about that. So, Capsock, I hope this makes you feel a little better that your map's getting shown on someone's channel. Someone's throwing you a bone. Um, so definitely go download this map. It's really fun. It's a great city map, you know, one of the best I've seen. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and um, again, sorry for the missed uploads. Thank you.